I was planning to warn you in advance that we're going to be streaming the Nova Open preview, but luckily Games Workshop have done a little teaser thing, so now we can look at a new squig at the same time. Yes, that's right, on Thursday, or technically Wednesday, depending on what time zone you're in, there is going to be a new Warhammer Online preview from the Nova Open. And I really enjoyed us doing, like, a live thing for the Tyranid preview that we saw a few weeks, months ago, whenever that was. And so I thought we'd do it again. The downside, of course, the downside is that depending on the time zone you're in, it's, it's a little bit potentially a little bit late and I am in fact kind of questioning whether I should even do this at all because when I say a little bit late I do mean it is a little bit late I mean it's going to be two o'clock in the morning so that's going to be bad for me the next day like really bad really really bad I cannot overstate how bad an idea this is but we're going to do it anyway so we're going to be live on this channel from 1 a.m. <laughs> BST, which is whatever time that is if you are not in the UK. I mean, I, I look, I'm not going to put a list of every single time zone on the screen. Google's there. You should definitely have a look and see whether that is something that is feasible for you. I mean, if I look, if I can do it, then you can do it. I mean, I have two kids that will be sleeping like there and there, like not on the ceiling, upstairs, I mean, at the time, and I'm still going to be there. It's such a bad idea. It would be nice if you could join me. But the thing is, before we even get to that point, before we even get to that point, we do have another lad to look at. Because I think as a little little cheeky teaser, a little little tease, GW have shown off a new squig on the Warhammer community site called Clonk. Clonk the Rock Brow Squig. I don't know where this has come from. I'm not sure why it is or where it, where it is in terms of like where does it fit in in terms of AOS or Warcry or maybe part of a Warcry Warbound. All I know is that I love him and I want him immediately. So this is the lad. This is Clonk <laughs> and he is a rock brow squig. Absolutely delightful. Love him. Genuinely love him. I mean, <laughs> what what is going on? For a start, he looks too heavy for his own head, which is probably because he's too heavy for his own head. It's kind of scaly and rocky at the same time. He's got such a massive, like, even for, even for like, squig standards, massive teeth. Massive, massive teeth. And I feel like he's just, like, slugging his way round the mortal realms. I don't think that he's doing a lot of jumping or, or bounding. I think he's just kind of, like, he just kind of slugs over to you and then... I'm guessing bites you. It does say that he was born with a permanent headache, which sucks. Like, that is a genuinely tragic backstory. I mean, Clonk is definitely adorable, definitely cute, but being cursed with a permanent headache, I would not wish that on anyone. I get migraines. I get migraines, right? Migraines, not great. Not ideal. Don't like them. The idea of having just any form of headache permanently sucks. Apparently though, being repeatedly battered over the head is the only source of relief for him. So not only has he got a permanent headache, but he needs to be like physically assaulted for it to feel better. That might be the darkest thing that Games Workshop has ever written. On second thoughts, uh, may maybe not the darkest thing. Maybe not the darkest. <laughs> Maybe not. He is delightful though, and I cannot wait to see what the rest of... I mean, what is it? It's got to be a warband, right? It's got to be a warband. 100%. It's unlikely to be the old world. I think we can rule that out. It's whether it's, it's whether it's AOS, whether it's Warcry, or whether it's Underworlds. It has, it has a, a more Underworld slant to it, for my money. I reckon it's probably more likely to be Underworlds. I could see it maybe being a Blood Bowl thing? Maybe? But I don't know. I don't know how well that would fit in with... I don't know, actually, Blood Bowl, it's possible. I just don't know what role he would play in Blood Bowl. It definitely feels more definitely feels more Underworlds or Warcry. And I'm definitely... I'm starting to lean Underworlds. I'm starting to lean Underworlds. He is grand, though. He's grand. Love him. Loving the work. Can't wait to see what he's part of. Now, in terms of everything else, I mean, clearly we're going to see a load of Space Marine stuff. Definitely going to see a load of Space Marine stuff. I think probably things like Assault Intercessors seem likely. Um, new Scouts. 
that's probably a thing that might happen. We've had so much stuff retired from the Space Marine range that I feel like there's going to be a load of things to kind of bring things up to parity and bring the Primaris range more rounded. Things like a standalone kit for, like, Stone Guard, for instance, makes a lot of sense. I, I don't know. There's going to be a bunch of stuff, I'm pretty sure, for Space Marines. I don't know how much else they'll show in terms of other factions. Horus Heresy. Horus Heresy is a tricky one, right? Because it feels like... It feels like we could see more stuff for full-scale Horus Heresy, or they might just do a load of stuff for, like, Legions Imperialis, which I always want to call it the other way around. Um, say it's the other way around. Call it the other way around. Um, but then, Mark III Marines have disappeared off the Games Workshop site. I don't know whether it means anything, whether that's something that is going to be shown off of the Horus Heresy, or it's like, here's a new... His new Mark III Marines. I don't know why we'd have new ones unless it was to bring them up to the same scale as the new Mark IV stuff. Conspiracy theories abound, but we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? No matter what happens, though, we will be here to check it out. We will be live. We will be streaming the reveals. We will most likely have it on mute for a lot of the time. <laughs> Mostly because if I don't put it on mute, someone's going to copyright claim half the stream, which we don't like. We don't like it when that happens because it happens too frequently. But it'll be fun apart from that. You should join me, if you can, if you can justify staying up that late, which I know a good chunk of you won't want to. But those of you who will, or are just, you know, US-based, in which case it should be fine for you, do join in. It's going to be it's gonna be fun, probably. And if I fall asleep in my chair, then I will just continue streaming, and it can turn into some sort of weird, weird nightly, nighttime stream thing, which... Actually, no, that's definitely not going to happen. I already hate the sound of that, so no, no, we're not doing that. Anyway, I hope to see you there. Leave me your best guesses as to what is going to be shown off on Thursday slash Wednesday, depending on where you are, in the comments down below. Feel free to click all the things. Patreon, YouTube members, there's... There's some fun stuff on the way for that side of things. We're catching up this week. We had a bunch of technical issues last week, but it's fine because we're catching up this week. So I should have a good a good couple of tasty exclusives for you and an early access thing as well. So do check that out if you would like to. There's all the usual affiliate links and stuff. There's one for the US as well as the EU now, by the way. It's down there in the description somewhere, I think. It should be. I hope so. What a rambly end. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.